over to meteorologist Lauren Whitney. And Lauren, we've got a lot of moisture moving in. Yes, we do. We talked about this last night that by this time we'd probably have some rain and snow along the front range, and we certainly do. So we still have snow on the western side of the state, but for the front range, we're really getting the bulk of this right now. So as I zoom on into the Denver area, right now we're more on the rainy side, but in the next uh, couple of hours as our temperatures drop, we may see this change over to snow. We won't see a ton of accumulation. It would mainly be on grassy areas, but you can see again, there is some heavier rainfall even out near the airport and Bennett right now. And then on the south side of town, actually Castle Rock, you've uh, the temperature line is so tight right now because it's actually been so warm that we haven't gotten quite as cool as we need to to really see that snow sock in. So we're seeing a little warm area near Castle Rock, but they had some heavier snowfall earlier and we have that heavy snow near Winter Park and Georgetown as well. Off to our east, there's been some really heavy rain out near Burlington. That's starting to die down, but still a really good dose of some uh, rain out on the eastern plains. And we're going to continue to see some of that rain uh, tonight, especially for the eastern side of the state and that area of low pressure that we talked about making its way from Arizona and California yesterday. It's now parked right over our area. So that's why we're getting that good moisture right now. This will keep zipping its way to the east and then we're going to dry out by tomorrow morning for the most part. So again, we'll see that rain and snow with us for the next couple of hours. But by midnight tonight, most of this should be done with the Denver area and to the north down to the south. We'll continue to see some snowfall into the early morning hours and that moisture will continue into southeastern Colorado even through tomorrow morning. Then it kicks out of here pretty quickly and then it's a sunny warm day. We're going to head back into the upper 50s and even have some 60s out there. So we do have several winter storm uh, winter weather advisories I should say to talk about. So once we head into the Denver area, nothing for the metro area, but down into the foothills and southern uh, uh, Douglas or into Douglas County and into Elbert County and El Paso County. We do see about the potential for three to seven inches of snow that could possibly change depending on how long it rains versus when it changes over to snow. And that is pretty tough to tell. We need the temperature to drop a little bit more and then up into our front range mountains. You're looking at about four to nine inches of snow by tomorrow morning and then down into the south. Most areas are looking at about two to four inches of snow by tomorrow morning. Let's check in with our drought monitor. It's great to get this snow because our drought monitor updated today. Not so good. The only good thing about this map out here is that nothing has changed in the last week. So we need some improvement out there and every drop and every snowflake certainly helps. Temperatures right now 38 in Denver. Yesterday, remember that 63? It was a lot cooler today. Uh, 45 in Greeley. We had 45 in Burlington. High country 20s to the 30s. And our almanac for today 42. Again, 63 yesterday, 42 today, 46 downtown. And we will drop into the 20s tonight across most of the front range. 39 from our weather watcher Richard Woody in Pagosa. The springs and checking in with our temperatures tonight. 28 in Denver, 29 in Boulder, low 30s out east. We have the teens and 20s in the high country. And then on Friday, again, we warm up really quickly. 58 in Denver, 62 in Greeley, 50s, 60s out east, 40s, 50s in the high country. And for our five day forecast, it gets really warm around here next week in the upper uh, 60s and even uh, maybe some areas in the low 70s. Well, girls.